How's it going everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be doing the player gun angle by the mouse. Now we've done twin stick shooter before, like a twin stick shooter with a gamepad before, but I never actually went over it uh, for the mouse in an actual video. I've done it in lectures and the mega course, but never on a YouTube video. So I thought it would be good just to kind of do that and just so we have both of them. Uh, so if you have seen this tip before, then uh, this probably won't be anything new to you, but it still might be cool to watch and see how the linear platformer is coming along. Uh, so what we want to do here is we want to have our gun uh, object. And I'm thinking about even using a mask for this gun object at some point, but uh, it's we can still use just the gun object for now. And what we want to do is we want to have the origin be to the left or to whatever direction you want your uh, gun to initially be facing or whatever weapon you're using. Uh, and that way we can actually attach it to an image point and the image point we're going to attach it to is going to be in our player mask. So you can see I've put the gun uh, image point a little bit lower to where the animation would be. Uh, you could put it on the actual animation if you wanted to. There's really no difference as to where you want to do that. So in our game event and in our every tick, what we're going to do is we're going to set the object guns position. We're going to set it to object player mask dot image point X. So very similar to how we would do it with the uh, twin stick shooter uh, to the gun image points. Now let me copy and paste this for the Y and flip it for the Y. And now in the every tick, it should actually bind to it. So when I move left and right, I should have a gun. And there we go. Um, but what we want to do even more is we want to be able to rotate around the mouse. So what we want to do is we want to go to our object gun, we want to set the angle, and then we want to use the angle function, which compares two different objects. So we're going to grab self.x, so the gun's x and the gun's y, and then we're going to rotate it around the mouse.x and the mouse.y. So now, if I hit play, and we look here, not only are we actually pitting uh, the gun to the image point on the mask, but now we're actually rotating around the mouse. We're not done just yet though, because you can see that when I walk to the left, uh, that, that doesn't work for us. Our gun doesn't flip and it's just not working. So what we need to do is we need to go into our player group. We need to make a sub event here and we need to compare two values under the system. We need to say if the mouse.x is greater than our object player mask.x or animations doesn't matter then we want to we actually we just want to see what way they're facing so if we're greater we're going to be on the right hand side let me see if i can grab here we're going to be on this side and therefore we are not mirrored because this is default if we are less than then we are mirrored and in this case we are flipped so let's go to our game event and we're saying if we're greater than then our animations is going to be mirrored not mirrored let me make sure I select that. And our gun is gonna be flipped, not flipped, because we're already handling the mirror control with the mouse. So then what I need to do is I need to hit X on this event here. So if we are less than, we're gonna copy both of these and we're gonna flip them. We are gonna say we are mirrored and we are flipped. And if I hit save, and if I hit F4 on the keyboard, which should bring up the last lay uh, layout that I used, but I don't think I hit it hard enough, I'll just hit play. Uh, now we can actually see our gun, and now we can actually flip properly with the gun. So it's pretty easy to implement this versus the twin stick shooter. Uh, and now we just have to shoot towards the mouse angle, and now we're pretty much done. There's really nothing else that we need to add. You might want to tweak for the image point a little bit, um, but we're, we're done with our gun angle, and now you have these mouse controls. You're going to want to actually program in a way to disable mouse controls if you want to actually add in the gamepad or something like that, which is not hard to do. All we have to do is uh, disable all this so we can call this uh, mouse control or mouse shooting control, whatever you want to do. You just disable that group and you reactivate uh, the gamepad group and vice versa. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope that you learned something out of this if you haven't seen this tip before. Even if you have seen this tip, uh, we are still working on the linear platformer. I'm excited to be doing the first level soon. Uh, it's being broken down as we speak. So thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment below uh, what you liked about this video or if you want to see more of these kind of videos. And uh, also join the Facebook group if you haven't already. I'm really excited about the Facebook group. It's a nice public way to interact besides the YouTube comments and besides the Udemy discussion. So definitely do that and subscribe if you're new to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'm Jeremy Alexander, and I'll see you next time.